welcome back to Cheap and Green. It's been a little while since I posted a video because as you can hear from my voice, I have been horribly sick with bronchitis. This is week three of uh, bronchitis for me. Um, so you'll get lots of pauses in this video when I stop to cough. So I'm sorry in advance for that. I wanted to share with you some of the highlights of the gifts and um, tell you that, you know, I think we did actually pretty well with Christmas this year. Um, in seasons past, we've gone a little crazy, we've gone into debt, we've bought just too much volume of stuff. So this year we really made an effort to tone it right down and um, find a lot of things at thrift stores and really hunt. So I actually shopped for Christmas quite a few months in advance and now that Christmas is over, I can finally share the gifts with you. You may remember that my daughter's birthday is um, December 22nd. So these are two of the items that I got her. And both of them were actually from online garage sales. They were in excellent condition. And um, Maya's really fond of birds right now. She's really interested in them. So um, we want to make sure that we got a bird theme for her birthday and for Christmas. So there's this lovely distressed joy sign with the robin and the nest. And this is a uh, Christmas themed birdhouse. Now this is so intricate, I don't think we'll actually put it outside. I don't think it would stand up to the weather. But she really, really likes it with the, you know, the cute little Christmas lights and stuff. It's just very sweet. I think I paid $10 for both of these together and the most inconvenient thing was just that I had to go and pick them up at someone's house. For Christmas for Maya, I found this really amazing bird cage themed uh, jewelry stand. Oh, look how cute this is. The little door even opens. And it's got lots of places to hang necklaces, earrings, um, bracelets, whatever you like. Uh, I had seen one of these in a shop for, I think it was $35, and I really hesitated getting it. And I'm glad now that I did, because this was only 10, again, online garage sale. In addition to being really crazy about birds, Maya's also really crazy about vintage. So when I saw this little vintage suitcase at the Pass It On store, I'll link the video. We did a video in the Pass It On store, so I'll put a link to that. We saw this cute thing. Look at how amazing condition this is. Oh, still some wrapping paper inside. This is in perfect condition. This is about um, 1950, 1960. Think Jackie O little suitcase, a uh, little vanity case. And inside here, um, I had little wrapped gifts and trinkets for her as well. And I think I paid $20 for this. Maya's big gift this year was a bird feeder for outside. We did some research, we found which one was gonna work in our area and which bird seed to actually put inside. Um, but it's such a weird and awkward shape. We didn't really know how we were going to wrap it. So let me show you what I did. I found these glorious vintage birds. These are doves or pigeons, whatever. And um, they have real feather wings and tail. And this is, I think, crepe paper. It's not plastic. It feels like paper to me. And the two little pearl details here, they're just the most beautiful things um, and I got a whole bag of them there was like about ten of them in a little bag for three dollars if you can believe it they're just so pretty so what I did as I used they have little wires on their feet and I just wired them onto the bird feeder and just left it under the tree just like that check out this cool vintage shirt I found for Garner I was looking for one for him, but uh, he's a difficult size to find in vintage. There's not a lot of men's vintage out there at all. And then to find something in the appropriate size was really tricky. But I not only found the right size, but I found it for half price. 
So it was just so lucky a find. I was so happy. For me, I asked for a gift certificate to my favorite store that sold my dishes. Um, this is Fiesta Wear Shamrock color and I really wanted to fill out my Fiesta Wear collection a little bit more. So I got a gift certificate and I went on Boxing Day when everything was 20% off and I bought myself the whole set. It was, I guess, four pieces of um, the beautiful shamrock color. While I was there, um, even before Christmas actually, I had spotted these amazing vintage mugs. Now I had been at another store and seen a vintage mug that I really liked but it was $15 and I just, I thought that was so much money. So I saw this and first it was 10 and then it went down to half price. But when I went to get the Fiesta Wear, it was 20% off of that. So I paid about $3.50 and I got four of them. And look at how cute, it's so, so sweet. And it's a great size. Let me show you the handle. The handle's so comfortable. It's just a really, really nice mug. So it's great that I was able to get one for each of us. So let me talk about stockings. Um, I left stockings really late this year. I don't know if I was putting it off or I just forgot, but I remember I was watching um, a video from uh, Gentle Thrifty Mama and she was talking about stockings and I realized oh, I haven't done stockings. So I thought, no problem, I'll just run out to the dollar store, right? So, here's my bill. It was $46 for stocking stuffers this year. Now there's a couple of things on here. There's like tape and Pepsi that weren't in the stocking. But for the most part, most of this was stocking stuffers. And I mean, let's face it, it's junk food and maybe a couple of little trinkets, but it's really not anything special that my family needs and we did stockings for all four of us and I mean my daughter's 15 so we're all you know basically grown-ups now and um, I just think it was an extra errand and an awful lot of money for things that you know we didn't really need and and maybe didn't even really appreciate because they're like you know stockings is throwaway gifts right so I think next year we're gonna tone that down or maybe completely eliminate it and I'd rather spend the $46 on, you know, a nice gift for all of us or something like that. The other thing I did differently this year was instead of buying additional presents, I took my mother and my daughter out for Christmas high tea. And we had a wonderful time. There was live music, there was so many different treats. It was so incredibly delicious. I can't, I wish you guys had like taste of vision and smell of vision. This was so good. And there was three different tea courses. So with each like tier of the tea tray, you got a different flavor of tea. It was incredibly beautiful and delicious and a really amazing experience. One that we really enjoyed and we enjoyed being together. And we got each of us um, a package of tea to take home. So that was a really great present and it didn't provide clutter and it wasn't a huge expense, but it was just a really nice time together. Thank you so much for watching Cheap and Green for 2016. I really appreciated all your interest in your comments and your questions. It has been a wonderful experience that Garner and I have uh, been able to share with you. I'm going to have to sign off for 2016 now before I completely lose my voice, but I hope to see all of you in 2017 and kick off the new year with great new ideas and forward-thinking ideas. Thank you.